really hope that you're all enjoying your 2014 so far and I wanted to make this video to share a few things with you guys but before I do that, the very first thing that I want to do is thank you all so much for all of the love and kindness and support going all the way back to 12 days of role plays. We haven't really checked in uh, with each other since then, so I guess I never got a chance to say thank you for making that experience for me so awesome. I really enjoyed doing 12 days of role plays, so thanks for all the support on that. And of course, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of the support and especially the feedback that I've been getting for Departure Episode 2. I just want you guys to know that I am taking that all in and I'm taking notes for uh, future episodes. So, I just wanted to start by thanking you guys for making the past couple of months so incredible for me. So now that those big projects are all wrapped up, I'm ready now to continue with my regular content. And so the purpose of this video is to fill you in on uh, some changes that I'm going to be making to my Time Travel Tuesday and Thrifty Thursday videos. Plus, I want to tell you about some new content that I'm going to be uh, introducing and releasing regularly. So I'm really excited. So, over the past year that I've had this channel, year and some change, I have learned <laughs> something about myself. And what I've learned is that even though I love making regular content, and I can make regular content, I am not the best at being uh, consistent with meeting specific deadlines. Um, which, by now, you know about me. So, that's something that I've learned over the past year, and it's a personal thing that I need and want to work on, and I intend to. But while I'm working on it, I also need to be realistic with myself, so although I will still be releasing regular content, I've decided that I am no longer going to attach specific days to my content. So, moving forward, um, the only time that you're going to see a specific date uh, on when you can expect a certain video will be if I have already completed the video. And I'm sure that it's done. Otherwise, you're going to be hearing far fewer uh, days and specific dates and times from me from now on. So that brings me to one of the first changes that I'm going to be making on my channel. So you all are familiar with uh, Time Travel Tuesday. I've decided I'm going to just tweak that a little bit. I'm just changing the name of that little segment to Time Travel Tingles. I'm going to do away with the Tuesday part, and it will still come out regularly. Um, it just may not necessarily always be on a Tuesday. And so nothing about the format of that is going to change. The voting will still happen as it always does. Um, and I do have a topic in the works for the next one. Time Travel Tuesday has become Time Travel 
tingles. Now, the next change that I want to tell you about is a slightly bigger change, and it's one that I'm really excited about, and I hope you will be too. So, I have been getting many, many requests from many of you to include more um, regular role plays on my channel. And uh, that's something that I've been really wanting to do. So I thought to myself, well, I've got Thrifty Thursday and um, I want to do more role plays, so maybe I could replace Thrifty Thursday with a role play. But the thought of doing that made me a little sad because even though Thrifty Thursday wasn't necessarily my most popular video. Um, a handful of you guys seem to really like it, and I really like it too, so I decided to create a sort of hybrid video. So I'm using the Thrifty Thursday concept and incorporating it into a regular roleplay video, which I am currently calling Thrifty Roleplay. The rules will be the same. I will visit a thrift store, donate an item I'm not using, um, find an item or items for five dollars or less at the thrift store, and from this point forward, the item that I find or items will somehow aid in the uh, production of a roleplay video and will appear in the roleplay video. Now I'm also adding a little bit of a twist. I'm going to make it like a game for you guys. So how it's going to work is the first person to comment um, and guess which item in the video is from the thrift store and what its price tag was will win. Now, I haven't fully decided um, what you're going to win. I'm still working on that. I would like it to be um, whoever guesses correctly first actually wins the item or items. Um, but I'll have to do a little bit of investigating into shipping costs um, within and outside the U.S. and stuff like that. So that part's still up in the air, but I will try and let you know by the time the first thrifty roleplays comes out. So, oh, and um, as you know, some weeks um, previously during thrifty Thursdays, I would come home with more than one item from the thrift store. So if that happens, I will always let you know if there's more than one item to guess. So if there's two items somewhere in the roleplay, I'll let you know. And so if um, nobody guesses correctly by the time that the next thrifty roleplay comes out, I'll do it sort of like a um, showcase showdown and basically the person who guessed closest to the correct amount without going over it, uh, who did that first, will be the winner. Um, so, I can't, I won't expect you guys to retain all of those rules between now and then, so I will include a list of all of the rules of thrifty roleplays in the description of each one, so that you can look over it and see how it works. So I'm really excited to try that out. I'll let you know what the prize will be once I've figured it out. So that's exciting. Now, the next thing that I want to tell you about, I want you to stick with me on this because it's a little bit uh, experimental in nature. So I'll tell you what it's called. I'm calling it 
tingles in the raw. And the way it will work is I will set up a second camera to film me while I'm shooting one of my regular videos. So, <laughs> process that for a minute. Um, I'll be shooting myself, shooting a video, if that makes sense. So, the second camera will be rolling continuously from start to finish of my uh, shooting process, and it will be sort of just a bare-bones, unedited ASMR video. You'll see um, me starting over, you'll see me uh, messing up, so you'll basically see the flaws that you don't normally see in a polished video. So, this may or may not work, um, but we're gonna find out together something that I'm really interested in trying because it'll be a really different kind of ASMR video and I think that it will be effective just because it's going to include all of the same ASMR triggers that are happening in the video that you're watching me shoot. But from a fly on the wall perspective. And the benefit of that is that it can alleviate that um, pressure that some people experience when they're watching videos, that pressure to get tingles, that pressure to be triggered, which can hinder people. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that that is an issue sometimes when they're trying too hard or they feel that they're expected to be triggered by something, it actually will stop the ASMR experience for them uh, and kind of ruin it. So, I like this idea because it allows you to experience the triggers more passively, if that makes sense. So, it's basically my experiment. I'm experimenting in trying to create a more uh, organic, more natural, more unintentional ASMR experience. So, I'm going to be trying that out. As I said, it's very experimental, and we'll see. I'm excited about it, though. I think it could be really cool. So, I hope you'll Come along with me on that adventure, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, now, the last uh, video that I want to tell you about that I'm going to be starting up is what I am calling Tutorial Tingles. So, lots and lots and lots of people have asked me for makeup tutorial videos where I uh, demonstrate a makeup look on myself, uh, but for ASMR. And I've been really wanting to do that, and uh, I, I love makeup and I love makeup videos, but I didn't want to just limit uh, the, the, the video to only makeup. I didn't want to limit myself to just doing different makeup looks. So, what you're going to see is some makeup tutorials and also some uh, nail art tutorials, um, hairstyles, um, little DIY projects, stuff like that. Um, basically stuff in the realm of health and beauty is something that I very much enjoy, and I love videos of that nature. But I didn't even want to limit myself just to that. So, probably, or maybe, sometime down the road, um, just 
depending on how this video, how this type of video is received by you guys or what you guys ask for, I might be able to branch it out further um, outside of the realm of just health and beauty and stuff like that. Um, might even be able to get into more, uh, more practical tutorials. But um, for now, what you're going to see is, or what you can expect, a lot of makeup videos, um, nail videos, uh, me showing new hairstyles, showing you how to do different hairstyles, um, skincare regimen, stuff like that. Um, but with soft speaking and slow, mindful hand movements, and of course, any other triggers that uh, would be appropriate for whatever it is that I'm showing you in the video. Well guys, that's everything that I wanted to tell you about. I'm really, really excited about some of the changes that I'll be making on the channel and new content that I'm going to be releasing. And I hope that you are too. And I really hope that you guys will enjoy it when it starts coming out. So guys, I hope that you have a great night and sleep well, and I'll be seeing you all again very soon. I'll tell you the summaries of the selections we currently have available. In our adventure category, we have the value of X, where you assume the lavish and powerful role of an exotic matter tycoon. With space cruiser fleets and private moons at your disposal, experience what it's like to be in control of civilization's most valuable resource. <laughs>